so welcome all today we have another video and the title of this video is onshore rig full knowledge and onshore rig is also said the land rig so in this video we will learn all the equipments and parts of an, of a land rig and their location there the, there are very much similarity in the equipments and their locations in the onshore drilling rig or the offshore rig so let's start the session <clears throat> this is an onshore drilling rig and most of the equipments and the locations are same in the onshore rig or onshore or or offshore rig so this number one this number one is set crown block assembly this is set the crown block this number two this number two is showing cat line boom cat line boom this number three is showing drilling line the drilling line which is threaded through the crown block and traveling block pulleys and sheaves number four number four is showing the monkey board the monkey board is also set derrick board and this is the elevated platform where the derrick man stands and he does his job he handles the tubulars the drilling pipes at the time of tripping number five number five is showing the traveling block this is this equipment is called the traveling block number six number six is telling about the tds tds means top drive system number seven number seven is showing the mast the mast is the mast is the mast and the derrick both are the similar thing and this is the place the square space is the rig floor and then as the number seven is showing the mast and the mast or derrick both are the same thing this complete structure this complete structure okay this complete vertical structure it has four legs okay the same in the um, offshore rig also and onshore rig also this one leg the two leg of the derrick this this leg i am telling about the derrick okay no need to get confused this leg and this leg this uh, is um, the complete structure is called the derrick or the mast okay now number 8 number 8 is showing the this is number 8 and it is staying showing the drilling pipe this is the drilling pipe number 9 is dock house this one is the dock house dock house is a store a small store um in the rig floor okay and now number 10 number 9 this is number 10 number 10 is accumulator this accumulator accumulator is an uh, um, equipment uh, which is used to control the pop okay to open or close the pop okay this is located on the a uh, little far from the rig floor on the land uh, around uh, 70 feet 50 feet okay this is accumulator accumulator has two names as the derrick has two names either derrick or the mast both are same likewise the accumulator is also said kumi unit some people say it kumi unit and some people say it accumulator okay this is number 11 number 11 is water tank this is water tank this is number 12 number 12 is electric cable tray this one is this is going horizontal this is electric cable tray number 13 this one this all equipment number 13 is engine generator set this is engine generator set number 14 number 14 is showing the fuel tank this is fuel tank number 15 in this image we are looking and the equipments are very close enough but in the practical field in the real field the equipments are are far from each another equipment okay <clears throat> number 15 is electrical control room it means scr um, and in some some clients say it uh, pcr but most clients say it scr okay we will not go in the 
the more explanation because when uh, we will go in more explanation it will be very large video in this the motto and objective of this session is to know the all equipments of a rig okay of an onshore drilling or work over rig and what are their locations hopefully in the next video we will learn their functions of all equipments their hazards the safety points their safety control measures their audit and inspection points inspection checklist all things we will learn one by one and gradually so this 15 is scr this is 16 16 is mud pump okay this is mud pump this is 17 this one is 17 17 is bulk mud compartment tank 17 now 18 This one, this is 18 actually. This is, I forgot to put the number here, but this is 18 because this equipment, uh, and this equipment is mud tank, okay? Mud tank. <clears throat> Some people say it mud pit also, okay? This is mud tank, okay? This one, the green one. The small one is written number 18, okay? This is mud tank or mud pit. Now, this is number 19. Number 19 is reserve pit. Reserve pit and it is also said west pit this is the excavated on excavated uh, uh, space on the land okay this is west pit or reserve pit now number 20 this one this is 20 this is mud gas separator this one is mud gas separator this is 21 21 is shell shaker okay this is the shell shaker Shell shaker is also a part of mud processing, okay? <clears throat> 21 is shell shaker. 22 is, this one is choke manifold, okay? And what is the function of choke manifold? Why it is used, okay? So these all things we will learn in the next videos. This is 22 is. The first thing is that to the, to the new people who are aspiring to start their career as a rig safety officer, they need to learn all the equipments of the drilling rig of of an on onshore drilling rig of an on offshore drilling rig and what are their locations okay so this is a thing actually we are learning the equipments and the locations okay this is number 22 this is called chalk manifold 22 this one okay this is 23 23 is pipe ram this one is pipe ram okay pipe ram okay here it's not written but this is pipe ram this one okay and here is a v door okay here is an opening in the rig floor to the pipe ram for the for the drilling pipe or the casing and other drilling tools which are hoisted to the rig floor okay and after the use they are put down so this gate that's that is that is that opening is set v door okay and this one 24 is catwalk this one is catwalk 24 is catwalk okay 25 is pipe rack this is the pipe rack 25 the pipe rack and 26 is pipes okay this one is pipe the pipe has been kept on the pipe rack now 27 Okay, so as uh, we are looking over here, this image are very small, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So I have enlarged in the next slides and we will see the enlarged images so that we will uh, have a clear knowledge. And uh, I have uh, put one list also in this onshore drilling rig video also, so that you can, um, you can get the serial number and according to that the equipment name I have written in front of the serial number okay so the 27 number okay this 27 is called the hook 27 hook this is the rig floor conventional rotary rig the rig are uh, two types of rig one is the the Kelly Kelly drive rig and what one is um, top drive rig Okay, either the top drive, when the top drive is used, the Kelly system will not be used. If the top drive is not being used, 
then the Kelly system, Kelly drive, Kelly system will be used. Okay. So this 27 number is hook, and 28 is this one is swivel. That 29 is this one is 29. 29 is Kelly, and 30 number. 30 number is rotary table assembly. Rotary table assembly. This one is 31. 31 is draw box. This one is draw box. And this is 32. 32 is a standpipe. This one is a standpipe. So what is the standpipe and what is the function of standpipe? We will learn in the next videos. Okay. The 32 is, this is a, a rigid uh, metal pipe that is attached to the side of the derrick. Okay. And it is um, uh, assist, it is a, a, a part of the mud processing. It takes the uh, mud from the mud pump and, uh, and uh, carries to the another uh, point. This is the standpipe, 32. Now, okay. Uh, <clears throat> after 32, we will have uh, another screen. We will see in another screen. This is a POP stack, okay, and wellhead. This, this space is called the seller okay the seller the seller is what is seller actually the seller is an excavated space on the on the land where where the uh, BOP is uh, the wellhead is uh, installed and uh, the BOP stack is installed over there okay so this is BOP stack now this is 39 39 number this 39 number is Annular blow, annular blow out preventer. This is annular blow out preventer. A BOP stack should have at least one annular um, blow out preventer. Should contain one annular blow out preventer. Now, 40. Number 40 is RAM blow out preventer. This is RAM blow out preventer. Now, 41. This 41 is substructure. This is the substructure. Okay, the substructure. This this. Uh, below the um, um, rig floor, the, this thing is uh, set the substructure. 42. 42 is the seller. 43. 43 is conductor casing. This is the conductor casing. 44. 44 is drill string. This is the drill string. And 45 is drill bit. This is called, this is the drill bit. This is the drill string. And 45 is a drill bit. Okay. Now, in the previous, we saw till 33. Now, here is 34. 34 is a room of driller's cabin. Okay. Inside the that cabin, the driller cons controls the drilling operations. 34. 35 is, this one is iron roughneck. This is iron roughneck. 37 is slips. This is the slips. 38 is air hoist. This is air hoist. Okay, and this is the V-door. Okay, what I said earlier. This is the V-door. This is, we said, air hoist or winch. Now, this is 48, 48, number 48 is desilter and this is 47, 47 is descender, 46 is degesser, this equipment is degesser, okay, this equipment is degesser. Now the 50 is, the 50 is mud agitator, the mud agitator, this is 49. This 49 equipment is said centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pump. These all are the drilling mud uh, equipments. Now we have seen already this image in our last video. So this is uh, the rig float, a clear image of rig float. This is the rotary table. Okay, this is the drilling hole. This is strong. This is the draw works. This is the driller's cabin. This is the dog house. This is the video what I was telling that time. This is the pipe ramp.
okay and this is the list what what is um, uh, i have what i have mentioned earlier that all the serial number are according to the names okay this is another image of a of a rig actually so uh, this top one is as i said in the last image is cron block below that there is a monkey board this is the traveling block this is the hook this is the stand pipe this one this is a rotary drive this is blow out preventer bop this is bop stack as i said annular blow out preventer and uh, ram blow out preventers okay blind ram shear rams and uh, pipe rams so this is the bop and this is the seller the space here okay the seller this is the seller this is the drill pipe okay or drill string this is the drill bit drill bit is located at the last of the drill string okay and the function of drill bit is to cut the rocks and soil and above the drill bit there is located drill collar drill collar is located to apply more weight um, on the uh, drill bit this is uh, uh, located above the drill bit this is the engines this is the draw works this is this one is kelly okay and one thing uh, again i want to repeat in a rig um, uh, in in uh, has two types actually one is the kelly system one is top drive system there is a different topic what are the difference and advantage and disadvantage between the kelly system rig or the top drive rig okay that is another thing we will learn that points also that things also but here i want to tell you if the rig is the kelly system then it is not the top drive the top drive is not being used okay if that rig is being used that rig uses the tds top drive system it means the kelly system kelly drive is not being used okay and most of the rigs are in this age in this time are tds rig why the one difference i want to tell you here because if we use the kelly system we can use uh, only one drill pipe at a time and if we use the tds stop drive system we can use a stand it means stand means the, the the joints of two or three drill pipes are called the stand so the tds system makes faster the drilling okay so this is the one difference i have shared with you and next we will we will see the more differences uh, between the kelly system rig or the top drive rig top drive system rig okay this is the swivel this one okay this is the derrick as i said you the derrick or the mast this is the drilling line drill line is also said the wire rope and the drill line is threaded through the crown block uh, pulleys or sheaves and sheaves and traveling block pulling uh, pulleys and sheaves okay so thank you very much for your time and this was um, uh, an effort uh, to ex to share the knowledge about the onshore drilling and work over rig equipments and their locations thank you very much for your time